everyone, The Axe is back, and today, for our latest reaction and commentary video on the channel, we are continuing the Firefly journey. Now, the last time we left off, we were pretty much introduced to the entire cast of the Firefly class ship, Serenity. So we're not going to waste any time. We're going to go and get right into it as we see the further adventures. But before we get started, if you are new to the channel and you want to see all my future reaction and commentary videos, click on the subscribe button down below and help grow the channel. Also, if you want to check me out on social media, check me out on Instagram. All right, so let's get on with the show as Axe Spotlight's Firefly Season 1, Episode 2. After the Earth was used up, found a new solar system and hundreds of new Earths were terraformed and colonized. The Central Planets formed the Alliance and decided all the planets to join under their rule. After the war, many of the independents who had fought and lost joined the edge of the system far from the captain's goal was simple. Find the crew, find the job. Keep flying. No backstory here. So yeah, I was right. There's Earth is non-existent. They pretty much just used everything. <laughs> Little slip of money underneath the coat. Ooh. Nice work, dumbass. <laughs> I get a place in the middle. Close. I always sucked at Chinese checkers. A glorious day for all the proud members of the Allied Planets. Unification Day! Yeah, yeah, yeah. The end of the scumbag independence. The dawn of a new galaxy. Just feel the need for another drink. I think he brought back some rather haunted memories. Independents were a bunch of cowardly, inbred piss pots. Should have been killed off of every world's spinning. Say that to my face. White and toast. I said, you're a coward and a piss pot. Now what are you gonna do about it? Nothing. I just want you to face me so she could get behind you. Oh! <laughs> Jane, sugar, quite a lot of Jane. Hey, I didn't fight no war. Best of luck, though. Some help he is. What in the world? Oh. Oh. Jane, even awake. <laughs> She's always a badass. She really can be counted on. She's always got his got Mal's back. I'm thinking somebody needs to put you down, dog. I'm thinking we'll rise again. <laughs> Every man there, go back inside, or we will blow a new crater in this little moon. You don't mess with someone who's got a big ship with guns and everything, too. Did we at least make a contact? Ladies and men, folk, we have ourselves a job. Take us out of the world, Wash. Got us some crime to be done. Another job. <laughs> oh, it's the flash, the flashbacks. If you can talk about what happened there. Now, I know it's hard, but the more I know, the faster you'll get better. This isn't home. If we go home, they'll just send you back to the academy. We're on a ship. Mid book transport. Standard radion accelerator core class code 03 K64. Firefly. Wow, good memory. The fight didn't draw any, um, any attention. No fits. Hey, none of us want the Alliance on us, Doctor. That's why you're here. I thought I was here because you needed a medic. Mal. Bad. In the Latin. Oh yeah, true. My name is a girl in the brain pan. Seems common. Angela Bernitarski. That name sounds familiar. Go from being a doctor on the central planets to hiding on the fringes of the system. There's not many would do that. There's not many would take him in either. I'm wondering why. A man so anxious to fly under Alliance radar would house known fugitives. The Alliance had her in that institution for a purpose, whatever it was, and they will want her back. You're not overly fond of the boys, so why, Rich? Well, because it's the right thing to do. I begin to wonder if you yourself know why you're doing it. Well, what about you, Shepard? How come you're flying about with us brigands? Shouldn't you be off bringing religiosity to the fuzzy wuzzies or some such? Oh, I got heathens of plenty right here. Something. If I'm your mission, Shepard, 
Best give it up. Kind of a non-believer right there. Like, uh, what's it called? Book is really is curious about him. You have such lovely hair. I'm sure the doctor would agree. Do you think it looks better, up? Have you ever had to service a really hideous client? Companion chooses her. That's guild law. You look for compatibility of spirit. There's an energy about a person. I feel that. And then you try to feel the energy of their credit account. It has... What did I say to you about barging into my shuttle? That it was manly and impulsive? Yes, precisely. Only the exact phrase I used was don't. And he really likes to kill the moment when she's speaking, too. It's dangerous in there, and I ain't paying you to get your hair played out. Uh -uh. This job wouldn't be on a decently civilized planet where I could screen some respectable clients, perhaps. Respectable clients? That seems a contradiction. Don't start. We'll be landing on a Skyplex in a bit. It's run by a fella called Niska. Never heard of him. Well, I have. And while we're there, you'll stay confined to the ship. This guy has a very unlovely rep. He's got work for me? Fine. But I don't... I'm not sure you'd be safe. Well, if you're being a gentleman, I may die of shock. <laughs> Have you got time to do my hair? Nah. Uh, I gotta admit, though, with everything she said, Anara really cares about what's on the inside, not as much as on the outside. It's becoming pretty obvious that I think Kaylee is in love with Simon. <laughs> Fine, crawl. They can come in. He loves to stand at the door to say boo. Tattoo, man. Are you going to ask me what it is I need? As a rule, no. Good, you have reputation. How come Reynolds gets it done is the talk? You know what is reputation? Is people talking? Is gossip? Uh oh. I also have reputation. Not so pleasant, I think you know. Holy shit. You see this man, uh, he does not do the job. <laughs> I'll show you what I do with him, and now my reputation for you is fact. It's a nasty reputation. You do the train job for me, then you are solid. Oh, you do not like I killed this man. Hmm. Oh no, I'm sure he was uh, a very bad person. My wife's nephew. Here, in fifth car, two boxes, Alliance goods. You get untrained Hancock, uh, headed for Paradiso. This one delivered to Crow here. Anything goes wrong, then your reputation only gossip. And things between us, not so solid. I would be so afraid to do a job for this guy. Mal is really, really aware of the dangers of doing things when you deal with people like this. He's a psycho, you know. This guy. Oh, he's not the first psycho to hire us. You think there's a commentary on us? I just have an image in my head of a guy hanging from the ceiling. I got an image of it not being me. Let's do the thing. Science. How long have you known him? I've been on the ship eight months now. I'm not certain I'll ever actually know the captain. <laughs> I'm surprised a respectable companion would sail with this crew. They take the jobs they can get, even legitimate ones. The further you get away from the central planets, the harder things are, so this is part of it. I wish I could help. I don't want to help, not help help. Not with the thieving, but I do feel awfully useless. You could always pray they make it back safely. I don't think the captain would much like me praying for him. Don't tell him. I never do. Basically hides her worries for him. She always knows that he'll always come back safe. Is there some information we might maybe be lacking as to why there's an entire Fed squad sitting on this train? It does concern. It kind of concerns me. I mean, they're not protecting the goods. If they were, they wouldn't be letting people past them. Makes it more fun. Problem with your brain being missing. Come on. We stick to the plan. What are we doing? Oh, crime. Crime? It's a train heist. See, we fly over the train car. The captain and Zoe sneak in. We lower Jane onto the car, and they bundle up the booty and we haul them all back up. We've done this before. <laughs> hell no. But I think it's gonna work. You know something I should be doing? Staying the hell out of everyone's way. It's no call to be snappy, Jane. The captain ain't around, I'm in charge. Things when? And just cause Mal says your medic don't make you part of the crew. You just play it figuring what's wrong with that moon brain sister of yours. Oh. She can be very hostile sometimes. The Alliance crashed his accounts when he snuck out his sister. Yeah, well, we could all be rich if we handed her back. You're not even thinking that. Mal is. He ain't stupid. Why would he take on trouble like those two if there weren't no profit in it? She's Louise. Insensitive. 
I understand all the trouble that they've been put through regarding that, but... All hail the Great Alliance. Like I'm watching Star Wars Visions a little bit with that train. Go! Go now! Oh. Get the doctor. Stole the guy ran medicine. Been you know, waiting. Oh, 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 oh. They stole something that was meaningful. That was a cargo that belonged to them. Sir, there is a regiment holding in Paradiso. They were on the train headed to the installation. Who's holding them there? The sheriff requested we deploy a few to help him investigate. These are federal marshals, not local narcotic hounds. They've got better things to do. So do we. These are stone killers, little man. They ain't cuddly like me. I'm not flying anywhere without my wife. She'll be okay. She's with the captain. Yeah, you see? Everybody wins. Ah! Doc, I need a pop to quiet this pain so You need to shut up and let him do his job. I figured we're good Don't for stop. him. They'll never stop. They'll just keep coming until they get back what you took. Two by two. Hands of blue. Two by two. Two by two. We don't get the goods to Niska on time. He'll make meat pies out of a lot of us. I ain't walking into that. This Adlai Niska you're talking about? He knows. If the captain's not there to finish it, if Niska finds out he's being held and may speak as to who hired him, I think we're better off being a little late. Oh, wait a minute. Um, oh, Anara told him. Whatever happens, remember I love you. Sir? Because you're my wife. Right, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Spending your honeymoon in Paradiso? My uncle said he knew a Joey Bloggs out here. Said he might have an opening. Well, work is real scarce for a couple just starting out. How come there's so many sick here? Bowden's malady. Affliction of the bone and muscle. Air down underground mixed up with the ore processors. A recipe for Bowden's. Wow. Miners, dumpers. Hell, I got it. I ain't ever seen That's kind of like cancer. But it's treatable. There's medicine. That's what they were carrying. That's what they stole. Alliance ain't much use to us out here on the border planets. They ain't the ones that stole the medicine. I ever find those people, they ain't ever gonna see the inside of a jail. I'm just gonna toss them in a mine, let them breathe deep for the rest of their lives. Ah, you mind telling me uh, when it was you last spoke to Joey Bloggs? Oh shit, catching on. It's funny, your uncle never went to mention the Bowden's problem. Or the Joey Bloggs ate his own gun about eight months uh -oh. back. Blew the back of his head right off. Listen to me. You know what the chain of command is? It's a chain I go get and beat you with till you understand who's in rut and command here. Now we're finishing this deal. Maybe we'll come back for those morons. Got themselves caught. You can't change that by getting all bendy. Uh oh. Oh, they shot him like a little angel. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, he did that. Chances are they got pinched getting off that train. We can't just waltz in and pull him out. Someone respectable enough might be able to. Ooh. Oh, of course. <laughs> what the hell? Don't you dare speak to me. Sheriff, I want this man bound by Ambassador. law. Ambassador. Did you honestly think you could access my accounts and I wouldn't find you? And Zoe, what would your husband say if he knew you were here? <laughs> Malcolm's my indentured man with three years left in his debt. Don't think one of them's ever seen a registered companion before. I apologize for my manner. Unrelated trouble. His story had kind of an odor to it. Yes. It's not the only thing about him that does. Ooh, burn. Kept the engine running. We're good to go. We're not going. We're bringing the cargo back. What? What do you mean back? I waited for you guys. <laughs> what are you talking about? What about me, sir? His others need this more. As far as Niska goes, we'll just have to explain to him the job went south when we return the money. You want to explain, now's your chance. He's here? You are thinking of taking Mr. Niska's money and his property. Yeah, look, here's what it is. Deal's off. You entered into an arrangement with Mr. Niska. There is no mind changing. We can't take this job, so you just relax. 
We'll get you all the money Niska gave us up front. You return it to him, and we'll call it even. And there is no even. Oh, oh my god. Oh, nice. Oh, Wash came in clutch. Distraction. Nice shot. Oh. You were truthful back in town. These are tough times. A man can get a job. You might not look too close at what that job is. But a man learns all the details of a situation like ours. Well, then he has a choice. I don't believe he does. To get these crates back to town. Now, this is all the money Niska gave us in advance. You bring it back to him, tell him the job didn't work out. Now, we'll stay out of his way as best we can from here on in. You explain that's best for everyone, OK? It doesn't matter where you go or how far you fly. I will hunt you down. And the last thing you see will be my blade. Oh! Oh shit! Now this is all the money Niska oh, gave us in advance. I'm good. Let's see for everyone. I'm right there with you. Yeah, yeah, just, just, yeah. How's your sister? The same. In one moment she seems perfectly cogent, the next... She speaks nonsense. It's like a child. Just... I still don't know what the government was trying to do. Uh, one, two, by two, and of blue. I wonder why she keeps saying that. The medicine on that planet. Oh, you s you blew it off. We're looking for a girl. This girl. You got a chance and you blew it. Okay, and that's a wrap on Firefly, season one, episode two. One of the things that we really got was obviously we got more backstory regarding the Alliance and how it relates to the structure of this story. We also get to see Rivers speak more in rhyme, and that left us on a cliffhanger because now we gotta know, with that, we also still have to know with all of her talent what the Alliance is still trying to do with her. Another one of the things that I wanted to point out in this episode is that we get to see the Doctor actually stand up against Jane because we know he's really just, he can be a little bit out of control and we know what he's like. And him getting doped up was probably the best thing so far. But regardless of it, Jane came in clutch as did Wash. Of course, they always did in the first episode to go up. But other than that, we also learned that Malcolm will also not take jobs and be manipulated for money when it's supposed to the item is actually supposed to help somebody and that's a wrap and we'll see you on the next reaction channel we'll see you on the next episode and until then the spotlights are off bye everyone